What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Top 10 Tuesday on a Thursday. Uh, we had to push back because of Valentine's Day, and Michael is uh, on vacation mode, or he's recovering from vacation mode. He's back, though. Yeah. And uh, we are going to spin the wheel, to get a list, and we need to add a topic right now. Michael, do you have any ideas? Um, looking around my room for inspiration. Um, also, if you're watching right now, make sure to comment ideas so we have a list to replenish. Because once we use one each week, we kind of keep replenishing them. So comment away, comment your little your little hearts out. What Somebody about something with like uh, clothing? I don't know. Okay, Just on article of clothing. Um, I have two that I wrote down from last week. What was the, what were those? Um, the two that you guys had were top ten wives and top ten um, Abba songs. A- Amazons? No, Abba songs. Abba. Abba. Abba oh. Abba name. Um, I don't. We're not doing that one. It's way too. Yeah, because because I already got my top. So. <laughs> yeah, you already gave your list out basically last episode, and th- the other one was wives. Yeah. What were we, we on? We said that. I, no way. I don't remember. Saying I don't know. That. No, you did say it because we were talking about wives and moms. We cannot do wives and moms back to back. (laughs) Yeah, that's why I was going to add dads, but we can't do that back to back. We could. Um, No, no. Okay. Um. What about um Um, people people that you wouldn't want to get stuck in the elevator with? I was going to say like non professional activities, like. Or like sports, non-professional sports, or something along those lines. Hobbies. Mm, I like non-professional sports more than hobbies. Okay, but I feel like most sports are they have some kind of professional league. There's a better way yeah. to phrase that. Um, um, activities that should be sports. Yeah, that's that's a good one. That's a different one, but a good one. I like that. All right, that should so. Be. So that is our real home remedies ideas. Oh, ideas so- scares me. Yeah, that's so broad and surprises. It's scary. Gonna, I might need this. I might need this out five minutes recovering yeah. from recovering from vacation mode. Yeah, Act- activities activities that uh should be sports. Oh my god, I totally spelled that wrong. Huh? Nice uh, things we were we are top one percent. Those are like us personally, right? Yes. Okay. Surprise. Or should it be us collectively? No, I think personally. that both of us are both in the, we're both in the top percent of. Mm, it'd be better if we had different lists. Yeah. Like yeah. Unique it'd be lists. If we had different lists. But I like we're. And then surprises with the Z, and then bachelor contestants, which that that that's gonna be hell for me the sec- the day we get that one. That could be today. All, All right. right. Are ready? we ready? Spin. That wheel. wheel. Oh my gosh, we're getting it, aren't we? We're gonna, we're getting it. Oh well, oh. For goodness. Uh, I don't even have ten contestants in my head. Like, I've watched like three seasons. I have ten. It's the ordering that's gonna get me in trouble. Ugh. Um, who oh. is the who's the one we did the top ten Tuesday with? Cassandra. Okay. I'll throw my list just because yeah, oh, yeah. this is not going to be good. I'll have a lot of dishonorable mentions, though, for sure, for sure. Sure. All right. Uh, clock is starting. Three minutes. Go. All right. Here we go. Top 10 Bachelor slash Bachelorette slash Bachelor in Paradise, Bachelor franchise contestants. I will say I'm glad we're getting this out of the way. This is... Our most niche one we've done in a while. Yeah. For Usually sure. very broad. This is very specific. A lot of people are going to be like, who are these people? Which is fair. But those who do watch the show will understand our list. This is a very difficult one for me um, because I've I've pledged on dying loyalty to a lot of these. So I might be burning some bridges based off rankings. We'll see. Um, but who went first last week? The the age old question. It's hard to remember, even though we do this literally. Um, every week. I did. Maybe you did. You went first. No, you did. What? Okay. All right. Um, so then you go first this week. 
Yes, I will go first this week. All right. All right. So, my number 10, I just thought of this actually. I, I didn't write it down, but it's in my brain. So, I'm going to do it. Um, my number 10 is going to be uh, Jesse. Jesse the current Palmer? Host. Yes, okay. Jesse Palmer. The current host. I know I, I don't I didn't watch his I didn't watch The Bachelor when he was on it. Um anything like that. That was way before my time of watching, you know, reality TV. But um, you know, he's a good he's a chill dude. He's a chill dude, chill host. I, I like how he's how he's doing it. Um he's, he's got a good voice for it, he's got a good presence on the camera. So yeah, Jesse Palmer. He uh he forgot a girl's name on night one, and- which is really funny. Yeah, but fucking uh, what's uh? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Zach forgot one. Zach forgot the chick's name at the um when they first met. You know how they did that whole like they they did America's first row. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He he couldn't name the people, the chicks then. So uh, and I, and, I, he, and he's a college football analyst too, which is sick. Versus. That's what a duo. Like what a duo. I mean, what a combo. Um, there's also. This is very timely. I saw today a tweet saying the uh, ABC is potentially going to bring back Chris Harrison. There's talks. This could I be breaking like, news. I feel like at this point, it's just like, might as well keep it, Jesse. I, you, yeah. think that's, you think that's going to up the ratings that much? No. I just think it would. If anything, it would yeah. cause more problems. I, well, I think Jesse's shown how pointless that role actually is. And then you bring yeah. back someone. I think it would be way too much about him when it the it worked because it was never about him. So yeah. that it'd be tricky, but we'll see. Um, okay, good number ten. Uh, dual, I guess, like versatile because he hosted and was the lead. My number ten. Uh, people pr- gonna say recency bias, but they're gonna see this before, so I guess it's not recency bias. This is pre recent, whatever. Um. I'm going with Logan. So I interviewed Logan about five hours ago. Really cool dude. Super, like really cool dude. Everyone should go. It's not a, even a shameless plug, but go listen to the interview when it's up on Monday. Um, again, there's only one person on my top 10 who I haven't interviewed. So again, this is very personalized towards me. I will die for everyone on this list. That's just a fact. Um, and yeah, no, cool dude. He kind of got the short end of the stick on Gabby and Rachel season because he got COVID and then was basically just kicked off the show. Uh, you can go hear about that. We do talk about that. And then he kind of got screwed over a couple times by Kate and Shanae on Bachelor in Paradise. He's kind of been dragged through the mud a little bit. And I hope he makes a return. I'm rooting for him to make a return, but we shall see. But it was a uh, it was cool talking to him. So recency bias, I'm putting him at number ten. Okay, uh, good pick. Um, I'm excited for that for that podcast on Monday. Yeah, you are. I'll 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 retweet the shameless plug. Yeah. Um, my number nine, I actually, um, I originally wrote down Susie from Clayton season, but I'm switching it, um, and not doing Susie. So move Susie to honorable mention, and my number nine is Brooklyn from this season right now. She's the one that went on the uh, ATV four wheeler date this past okay. episode. Um, okay. Blonde. She's just like out of all the chicks this season, seems the most down to earth by far, and like the most and definitely the funniest. Like she's definitely like actually cracked some jokes, which have made me chuckled, which is saying a lot. Which is saying a lot. So yeah, Brooklyn. Okay. I can't. I can't really picture her right now, but I will. Uh, Blonde. I'll, I'll keep an eye out. I've been for some reason this season. I I'm not processing any names like at all. A lot I just, of them like, look alike. A lot of them look like. A lot of them look like. But they. I feel like they've always looked alike. For some reason, I'm not. I'm just not. Th- I'm also way more actively tweeting during the show, which is affecting my viewing. Where I can't like do two things at once, and I'm not just tweeting during commercials, which I might start doing moving forward as it gets closer. But yeah, I'm just like not processing this season. And I will say Zach's doing a great job so far. So I don't know. Oh, also, I want to point out, uh, I bodied you in the poll last week. What poll? Bo- the top 10 moms. 
Yeah, well, it's because you went crying to your fans or yeah. wise guys. The strongest who, army on the internet. You were freaking crying to them saying, I immediately got it right after the show. Yeah. Please vote for me or I'm going to cry. Me, me, me. Me, 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 me. really what you did. No, so. you know, I did. I said, hey, guys, uh, pick up your fallen soldier. You this didn't, was a, you didn't, you this didn't was a say, bad list. I said, this was a bad list. Vote for who you think should win. You said, fool for me, 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 me. Yeah, that's the point. I'm trying to win. Okay. Well, you just, you know, you even up the series. So, it's like, you think, big. you think Austin I Butler mean, out there is campaigning, like, vote for who you think had the best acting performance? He's like, no, vote for me. Like, I want to win an Oscar. I want to win top 10 Tuesday. But did he that's, end up winning? Did he win that? Uh, Oscars haven't happened yet. Oh, it was the Grammys that just happened. That's yes. what happened. And Those the gold, are, uh, golden, Glo- not golden globes. What was the um, I can't, I can't have um, words. um, yeah, yeah, no, it's the international one. Um, aren't they all international? I don't know, my brain's not working. Let's move on. Mine, so your number nine is Brooklyn from this season. My number nine yes. is the only person who I haven't interviewed on this list. I think she's the best. Uh, female lead that I've seen since I started watching the show. And we should also note uh, for the uh, older generation who's watching this, you and I have joined kind of late, but it's not even late at this point because there's been so much seasons. My first full season of watching 100% through was Colton's, I believe. And I watched a little bit of the one before that, which I think was Rachel Lindsay's. Um, No, what was Colton on before? Maybe right, whatever. Uh, but Colton season was the first one I watched all the way through. So I will say that because people are going to get super mad at us for not including like maybe like Ben Higgins or Sean Lowe or whatever. It's like, I just didn't watch them that much, but shout out to the indie yeah. boy, Ben Higgins. My number nine best lead I've seen from the female side is Hannah B. Hannah Brown, Miss Hannah Brown. She rocked it. She, she owned that season. It was her season. There wasn't, as much like producer manipulation there wasn't she was she was in full control that season and she had so many iconic moments like moving the stand away from luke after he comes back chewing out luke um windmill uh yeah she i mean it's iconic season so shout out to hannah b miss hannah brown uh my number nine i say i did not watch that season but i do know i have heard the name because she is like a famous ex bachelorette. So, mm-hmm. yeah. It's a good pick. Uh, my number eight is Ethan Kank. Kank. I think it's Kank. Ethan. Uh, he's from the Gabby slash um, Rachel season, the, the duo bachelorette season. Um, and he was just such a nice guy. He was such a nice guy. He was like a little on the older side, I think, in terms of all of the bachelor contestants that, bachelor contestants that season. But he mm-hmm. was very like mature. Just well spoken, just calm the beef between the dudes, and I don't know, just had a you know good, very likable guy, I think oh. in terms of, in terms of being a viewer. I'd agree. Yeah, I didn't I don't watch that season as closely as I probably should have, um, but I do remember liking him. It was one of those things where he's one of those guys where everyone's like, this is the guy who should be the bachelor, but everyone knows. He won't. They, w- they would yeah. never make him the bachelor. So yeah. he's yeah. almost like he's too normal and too like good nice. of a dude. Yeah. Too nice. Which I guess I kind of thought that about Zach. So he's proven me wrong. So hopefully this is the formula moving forward. Yeah. Um. Good pick. My number eight. This is someone who I take full credit for his current relationship, whether he likes it or not. Um, he came on the podcast immediately after this girl came on the podcast. We talked about the said relationship. They weren't dating at the time. Two weeks later, they were dating. Um, I haven't really stayed in touch with him since, but you come on the pod. I will love you forever. Uh, Connor Saley, Connor S. Um, shout out to him. Believes down in Texas. Shout out to Waterboy. His little, uh, not little. I shouldn't say little. You're small. His uh, water company. Not water company, like the little like I don't know what it is, but it's Water Boy. Go check it out. But uh, yeah, Connor S. on my list, number eight. Gotcha. Uh, what season was he from? He was I Hannah agree. Brown's. He was okay. He, yeah. Gotcha. Um, my number seven is also going back to back from the uh, 
Gabby Rachel season d- contestants. And I'm going with Nate, fellow Chicago, okay. fellow Chicago boy. Um, he was 23, and I believe he had a kid, right? I'm not tripping there. I, he had a kid, right? He had like a little yes, has yes. a kid. And so I was like, that's. I think that's already like that gets some points if you have a kid and you're still going on a show. That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, he was a, he was a very likable guy. I don't know. I can't remember exactly what happened and how he got sent home. But like, I they- thought he was. I thought he was going to win. They had like a really emotional bench talk, and oh, and she wasn't ready to be a mom. Yes, yes. yeah, which yeah. is fair, very is fair. A, yeah, fair. But like, I, I don't know. He deserved better. I thought, I honestly thought he was going to be the next Bachelor. I thought he had a good shot. Yeah, good shot. Um, yeah, some stuff came out about him. I think that kind of derailed the Bachelor talk. But he kind of like being a player and stuff like that, or yeah, something like that, or like the, how he didn't tell a girl he had a kid or something. And then he addressed uh, it in the after show and whatever. Um, I liked him. I liked yeah, that a lot. He's a good guy. So, uh, Speaking of good guys, my number seven is if we were listing guys and or like contestants, I would want to grab a beer with this dude's number one for sure. Um, someone I interviewed last year, uh, someone who hasn't really been involved in, I guess, the American version of the show because he went on Bachelor in Paradise Canada after being on Katie Thurston season. Uh, this is our boy, Brendan. So you probably don't remember him. I'll, I'll, we'll put in pictures in a, of everyone. Uh, but Brendan's just a guy's guy. He's a dude you want to hang out with, a good old Canadian. Um, he was awesome to talk to. One of those dudes you just, uh, again, you just want to hang out, you know, talk sports and uh, grab a beer with. He is a very chill dude. And uh, yeah, Brendan, my number seven. Yeah, I just looked him up, and I honestly just cannot remember him from yeah. Katie season. I, I I watched all of Katie season. I'm just like, he, I don't know, I don't know. He but. he was what he's the guy who like made it weirdly far. He got to like top four, just like playing. made it really far, but like wasn't really on screen that much. Yeah, because everyone else just like either self eliminated or got like uh, he was, yeah. he was just like there. He was like oh, kind of got kind of got bailed. Yeah, he kind of left on his own. He was like, "Listen, like I shouldn't be here. <laughs> like I shouldn't like, be this like, far. Why am I still here?" Yeah, I yeah. feel like that's honestly like a common like feeling to have yeah. if you're if you're like because you, you're starting to see that right now on uh, mm-hmm. on, uh on Zach season. Like there are some people that are just like he hasn't talked to me in a fucking week. Like yeah. what am I like? I am wasting my time here. I could be working, making money. Like yeah, there's I'm, only- not, I'm not even getting screen time. Like nobody gives a fuck about me. I'm just gonna like go home. Yeah, there's always a – I feel like the lead always has their top, like, three or four. And then yeah. when it gets down to five or six, it's so obvious who's going home. Yeah. Like, it's I think very it, clear. I think even right now it's very obvious in Zach's yeah. season. At least I think it'll start to get really tough. But, like, the last the last rose ceremony, I was just like, yeah, yeah. That's, I don't know because I, th- I feel that's like easy. I've seen him, and maybe I'm not paying attention. I feel like he's kind of, like, validating a little too much. Like there's like eight to ten girls. He's been like, I've just really looked forward well, to seeing you all day. I was like, all right, dude. It's not not that many. That's normally the lead is a little less like it's still early word with all that. But no, he's made like eight to ten girls feel like they're the like the one. Like he's there for them. So I don't know. I'm just I'm a little. I think it's gonna get messy here sooner rather than later. Freaking better. That's awesome. Well, yeah, better for us. Yeah. Better content. Um, okay. What well, uh, you're up number six? Did you just, just no, you just said no what'd you just say? No, you just said something. I just said my number seven. Oh, you right. said a Canadian, Canadian guy. Yeah. Um my number six is Gabby. Um okay. the one of the most recent bachelorettes. Um, and I honestly so I was that whole Gabby and Rachel season, I think one was it was a shit show. It was a shit show. Um, but at the start of the season, I did not like Gabby. I was just like, really? not a fan of Gabby. I was just like, kind of confused the whole batch. I mean, I was a big fan of Rachel. I was a big Rachel Stan. Um, but then as it kind of like completely flip flopped throughout the season, because Rachel kind of got a little annoying for me, I think. And Gabby just got a lot more like, she just like really opened up. And I like actually believed her when she was opening up, you know? And like, I don't know, I think at the start, her voice was just so fucking annoying that I couldn't like stand her. 
but then I got used to it and she was just a really cool person and she deserves lo- the best. Yeah. I loved Gabby. I thought she was hilarious uh, yeah. on, on uh, Clayton season. Uh, she was really funny yeah. and she she's funny. so talented. She's just like out there doing stuff, living the dream, just making the most of it. Um, yeah. No, she's awesome. Shout out to Gabby. Didn't crack my list, but shout out to Gabby. Come on the podcast and you're good on the list. Um, all right. My number six. This is where we get into the the meat and potatoes of my list, I think. I think this is where stuff starts to get competitive. Maybe some feelings get hurt. Uh, this is my uh, first, well, I'll say bachelor uh, crush. So a girl I was rooting for the whole time. And the reason I was rooting for her was this was the year I paid attention enough to have a fantasy league with my family. And this girl single-handedly won me this fantasy league because she snuck her way into the final four out of nowhere. And this is from Colton season. And I'm talking about my one and only girl, Kerpa. I love Kerpa. She came on the podcast a little over a year ago after a lot of bugging on my end. I just kind of nagged her and eventually she said yes. Um, also I did a YouTube video maybe two years ago, right after that season where I was DMing a hundred celebrities to see who replied. She was the only one who replied. This is pre COVID. This is 2019, 2018. Um, I did a video hundred DMing hundred celebrities to see who would reply. She was the only one who replied. So she's a, uh, wise guy at heart. She's always been a member of the wise guys. And so I will, uh, support her as well it pains me that she's at six on this list it really does i wish everyone moving forward could be number one but they can't all be so uh number six kerpa nice um didn't watch that season so did not know but yeah that's a pretty good reason to have her six if she's uh um the one i do remember you making that video though mm-hmm. the wh- when was that when did you make that video i was summer like, after high school i think yeah going, like, going into college that's what i was gonna say i was like that was high school like i yeah. i feel like i remember the process of you waiting to hear from people it was a long day It was a long yeah. day um my number five is genevieve and not from this season from what was it clayton season yeah clayton season right yeah. Oh, season. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and Bachelor she, in Paradise. Bachelor and, in Paradise. She, and she was in Bachelor in Paradise. Yes, yes. Gotcha. But I don't. I, I haven't watched any Bachelor in Paradise outside of the first two episodes of the most recent one because oh. of Genevieve. Because of Genevieve. Because I don't. I don't know the whole like guys and girls thing. It's just like, no, dude. Paradise is the best. It's 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 not like. It's just like at that point, might as well just watch Love Island, you know? No, <laughs> you no, know, dude. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but Love Island, at least they all hey, have fun British no, but Australian at, accents. At that point, we're already invested in these people. We've watched the other seasons, so it's so much better to see them mingle. And then yeah, once you get a couple seasons that's, deep, and, and that's they bring the people from other seasons. That's the thing of this most recent season is the only the only reason I watched it was because I recognized some of the people from this most recent season. But at the same time, like I didn't know everybody. I didn't know everybody. And so I was probably still only know like half to two thirds of the people. And I don't know. I kind of got annoyed with the whole Shanae real quick, even though okay. she did, she did, she did like, I don't know, was less annoying than. Yeah. You know, she, had a, she had a weird arc. She came in. Everyone thought she was annoying. Everyone's like, wait, maybe she's not that bad. And then she kind of wrapped back around a little bit. Yeah. Um, but, but that's editing. Who knows? But maybe I'll, maybe I'll get back into it next time around for, paradise but yeah um five there's five one. genevieve I just oh genevieve. you're right dude i'm my brain doesn't work today it's not working um all right my number five this is actually okay i lied when i said hannah brown's the only one who hasn't come on the podcast before because i forgot that this person technically hasn't come on the podcast. Speak it, in, speak it into existence. Uh, yeah, we're speaking this into existence, hopefully sooner rather than later. Uh, she will skyrocket up this list the second she makes an appearance on the show. I'll say that. Probably, potentially, most likely number one once she makes an appearance. But I have to show my loyalty to the people who have already put in that effort. This is uh, one half of my favorite Bachelor couple in the world. And this is Miss Hannah G, the lovely, the gorgeous, the beautiful angel that she is. Hannah G, 
number five? Um, for context, since I wasn't a follower during that season, mm -hmm. was she the bachelor at? No. She was on. Was she... she was on Colton season. On Colton season, she made the final three, I believe, three or four, and then she was... went on Bachelor in Paradise, and that's where she met Dylan. Okay, gotcha. Yep, that makes but sense. I, I wanted did, her. I, did, I was. I didn't, I didn't know if she was like top three, top four, then Bachelorette. I was rooting for so it was it was basically it felt like it was between the Hannahs for the Bachelorette that year Hannah Brown or Hannah G. A lot of people wanted Hannah G. A lot of people did, and when Hannah Brown was announced, I'm pretty sure there was like some like not backlash, but like a lot of people wanted the other Hannah. But I think it worked out well because Hannah Brown was a really good lead, and obviously Hannah G is very happy right now. So things work out how they're supposed to. Hannah G, I hope you're happy with number five on my list. There's an easy way to skyrocket up this list if you're listening. So just write that down. Just come on the show. Perfect. Uh, my number four is um, Rachel Kirkconnell. Um, and although she may have had some controversy, um, I don't really, I didn't really look into that all that much. Mm. Um, you know, listen to that. But she's, she's beautiful. From the second she walked in, um, that, that season I watched with uh, my roommates from college and just every single episode, every time she was on the screen, it was just like Rachel, like we knew she was going to win. We knew she was going to win. She was just by far the most attractive person on that season by like 10, by like 10. Yes. Oh my God. She is just, she was gorgeous. Actually. No, I take that back. She was not the most attractive person on the season. Maybe tied for first with another person. That's also my list. So I can't really say that. Um, no, but Rachel was literally our, um, group chat picture for, um, a year. So, okay. yeah, I mean, she's just, she's, she's great. Um, personality wise, I honestly can't remember her personality. I I'll, can't. So her, I Matt, really can't. Her and Matt have had a strange relationship, right? And they're, they're together. They're happy as hell. Yeah. See, they, the thing is that, that gives points. That gets points I, on my list if you're still happy with your I um partner. They're, slash they're like life. one of the more likable couples, I think. Yeah, they right made, now. They, they went to the celebrity all star game last year. Yeah, no, they are very the likable NBA. people. I think that season was clouded with a lot going on where you didn't really get to see that. Obviously, so there's some extracurriculars happening there. Yeah. Um, but I, I think they're very likable. I don't hate that pick at all. Um yeah. 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 But but I, you, I, you, I still didn't like Matt James as bachelor. Like, I don't think he was a good bachelor. But. I think he, he got railroaded with how they handled that stuff. I, cause he's a very like likable, like personal person and it just did not show. Um, but that's, that's the show, I guess. But you saying the most attractive person from that season, uh, Ty. uh my, my number four is going to beg to differ here because this is my girl. I, knew I, this will, coming. Oh. I will defend her forever. Friend of the program. She's been on the show before. And I defended her when she was on the show. I defended her when she was on Bachelor in Paradise this past season. And I will defend her until the day I die. And that is my girl, mm. Brittany. Lil yeah. Galvin on Instagram. Lil Galvin. We love, we love Brittany here. We've always been Brittany stands. We will support her. And uh, anyone who tries to cross her, jade her in any way. We'll be there. We'll be there. We have an army and we will be there and we will mobilize and we'll figure it out. But Brittany, uh, yeah, no, she's the best. So she's number four on my list. I'm not glad. I totally forgot she was Matt James season. Yeah, well, I, she I, I thought came she was, in later. I thought she was Clayton season. Wait, she came in later? So this was the first time they had brought they brought four girls in. Oh, yeah. Like three weeks in. They brought oh, four girls yeah. in, and she was one of them. And then Miss uh, Miss Blondie, uh, Anna, was like, she entertains men for money. Anna. Anna. That oh, whole clip. I, yes. Oh, I, I definitely remember that that clip and that thing. I can't, I can't, I can't picture that the blonde Anna. I, I actually follow in on uh, TikTok, and she's kind of funny. But that's beside the point. Not on my list. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, my number three is also Matt James, season contestant. I have two more on my list. Whoa. So I'm going to take back what I said 
the most recent. Um, oh, I know where you're person. going. I know where you're going. What? No, Cassandra. say it. Cassandra. Oh, I didn't know. I think I know who the other one is. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. Well, it's it's just well, I've only seen four seasons, and if you're on two of them, you're probably gonna crack my list. Like, and you're probably gonna be high up on my list. That's why you know Gabby. You know, I guess. Jody. Oh, then I don't know who you're talking about. Just kidding. I lied. I'm gonna pretend. I'm gonna stop pretending like I know things. Um, yeah. Um, but Cassandra, we did top ten Tuesday with her. I want to say mm-hmm. in August. September. It was later. Year? I think it was like around Halloween ish. I thought it was like October. I don't know. I don't. We did mm-hmm. top. We did top ten songs with her, right? Yes, we did top yeah. ten songs. That was a top good ten one. songs, which is which was fun. Um, yeah, but it was it was a fun episode. Um, cool person, very chill. San Diego, I believe. Mm-hmm. Right. Yep. Um, yeah. Follow me back on Instagram, so that automatically gets in top three for sure. Oh, a hundred percent, for no, sure, a hundred. We can be bought. People don't understand that about this show and this company and this brand in general. We can our loyalty can be yep. bought. Hundred percent. All it takes shoot is a us little, a follow. All it takes is hitting that blue button that says Dude. follow on, or re- request. Or no, Dude. actually, I, I'm I'm public. I am public. There I we have go. To request. Yeah, everyone go follow. Hey, everyone, throw Michael a bone. Go follow him on Instagram. Yes. Boost those numbers stop. a little bit. Oh my god, stop. Was it like M Michael Bailey? Don't you have double M's? It's I believe it's three M's because um, M Michael Bailey. M, Michael Bailey was taken, and I was just okay. like, I don't want to do the whole like adding numbers to the end. So it's just like, did you think about Michael Dot Bailey? Did you think about that one? I probably did. I don't yeah. know for sure, but I probably did. I definitely okay. tried that, and All obviously right. that's taken. Like, good thing. Comment, come first name, comment last. Name. Yeah. Um, love that pick. Obviously, Cassandra, friend of the program. Anyone who can come on this show and hold their own with us in our weird little corner of the internet yeah. that deserves a lot of points because we're not easy people to deal with it's that's why again having guests on the show isn't isn't always a recipe for success because we are strange little uh people with weird little brains and she held her own against sure. us and i think she won that list to be honest yeah i think she did too yeah, but she also yeah. had like i'll admit it she had a great list she had a yeah. great list like yeah. she had a perfect mix of current classics mm-hmm. and in, in between. That's the, when we do this every week, we kind of get, uh, it's, it's almost like oversaturated when someone comes in fresh with a one-time list, it's almost yeah. always better than us. Um, but okay. My number three, yep. uh, we're going back to a bachelorette lead. Another friend of the program, a uh, comedian now launching the stand-up career out there in San Diego. Uh, a girl that I predicted to be the Bachelorette months before she was announced. Uh, uh, almost two weeks after she showed up on Matt James season. Uh, which I have realized I have a lot of Matt James seasons on this list as well. Uh, Good contestant season. And I am taking my homegirl, Katie Thurston. Shout out to Katie. I believe she has a comedy stand-up show tonight. Hope things are going well. Yeah, um, I believe that she's in. She's been in Washington as of late. Yeah, she's from there. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, hopefully, she comes out to Chicago. There's a lot of good comedy clubs in Chicago. So and I'll, I'll I'll be there. Yes, we, you will. You will. We're saying that right now. If she does comedy out in Chicago, Katie will be there. We'll buy pre-sale tickets for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, good pick. Um, my number two is um, somebody on. It's probably my my crush on uh, this this season, and that's Greer. I texted you probably about ten minutes after the first episode even started when they were going through all the people. I was just like, "Dash, like I uh, she's the eyes, the eyes, and just, you know, yeah, she was she was awesome. She's pretty. So, yeah, Greer is my number two. Recency bias, that's all yeah. you want. I'll own up to it. Recent, like, do I think she's gonna be on? For another two weeks maybe i think she's probably gone next week unless she gets a one-on-one unless she gets a one-on-one but if she doesn't get a one-on-one next week she's gone she got the first impression rose right i know but she has none shit sense i know i know we'll which i know i know and when she was crying this this most past recent episode i was just like girl like, don't cry like don't cry babe babe no babe, babe, babe don't cry stop. babe stop um you're I, so pretty stop i hope she sees um, it I hope she sees this uh, list. Is like, how the hell am I number two? Like, I've been on yeah. for five weeks. 
And then she hits that blue follow button. Yeah, she'll be like, who's this Michael <laughs> fellow who thinks so highly of me? It's like, oh, this dude's weird. <laughs> who's um, um, Michael Bailey? Um, Michael that's, Bailey. That's how I would say, oh, what's your Instagram? Um, <laughs> Michael Bailey. Um, Michael Bailey. <laughs> Uh, all right, uh, yeah. my number two. Uh, you just mentioned her, uh, friend of the program, longtime friend of the program. Mm. Uh, she is the not the culprit's a bad word. The instigator, the 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 girl behind Hoodie Gate, which mm. we still have not received full clarity on what that was. Uh, that's when Katie wore a Good Time hoodie after just not knowing who we were or had never interacted with me whatsoever she just posted on her instagram story while her season was airing just in a good time hoodie crazy crazy one of the crazier things that's happened in uh this company's history uh but i believe cassandra was there so uh, but again cassandra's been on the show she she hung with us you know she came into our little pocket of the internet so we applaud her for that and with that she has our undying loyalty both of us now both of us have pledged that um, yeah. off air. We pledge our loyalty. Whatever she needs, we are there. So, and, and she did a very, very unsober podcast with us when we were out in San Diego. And she and fun little Cassandra story, which I don't know if I've said on air. She drove us from the party to our hotel room to record the um, podcast. She she wasn't drunk when she okay. drove. We drank in the hotel room. I want that on the record and didn't drink that much. I want that on the record. But um, the first song she played as we're driving to the hotel, any guesses? Um, give me a hint. Um, country. I don't know. What was the name of the song? That's the terrible hint for me. Um, I'll go with Country Roads, Take Me Home, or whatever that one is. No, yeah. Tennessee Whiskey. No, it was before I, wheel. before I knew it by Mason Ramsey. Oh my God. I've before I knew it, I was holding up the doors. Oh, is that the, the, yodel, the yodel kid? The yodel oh, kid. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah. That's crazy. So that's I have a video. I was like, this is the craziest shit I've ever seen someone play first song. I just took a video of like the, the console. It was really funny. Um so that's a little uh, Cassandra story there. Um, but yeah, she's number two on my list for obvious reasons. Front of the program. You scratch our back, we'll scratch yours. Number two. My number one is Katie Thurston. Um yeah. Damn. Friend of the, yeah, friend of the friend of the program. Um, but also just not only her season as the Bachelorette, um, I also just loved her during Matt James' season. Um and so if you're in two seasons, and I like you in two seasons, obviously. Um, and if you're showing up on my Instagram and, and, you know, TikTok and you're making me laugh over that, that adds a lot more points. Um, so yeah, she's very, very cool. She uh, took my spot in one of the top 10 Tuesdays. Um, so you're welcome for that, Katie. Um, it's but true. yeah, she's, uh, she's a very cool person and she's, uh, very funny. All right. So. That's going to get me in trouble with you having her at one and me having her at three if she sees these lists. So uh, that's tough. But again, good pick. We love Katie here. Yeah. My number one, it's going to be obvious for uh, most of you listening for plenty of reasons. This is arguably, I would never admit this to his face because I hate uh, yeah. it. I would never admit it to his face. Yep. But the first person to throw me a bone um and come on the show and just be a part of what we're building here at good time and uh so i hate to admit it but my number one is dylan barber yeah. and he's gonna, it's gonna go straight to his head and he's gonna love this he's gonna give me shit about it but he's number one because he was an og he was the first one in the door and said hey this kid has a podcast that no one listens to i'm gonna come on it and spend 45 minutes to an hour and do it so for that i am grateful uh, since then uh we filmed also filmed the most hungover podcast of all time with him about six hours after the podcast with cassandra so he didn't have to do that he could have slammed the door right back in our face and said no not today even though our flight was in two hours so that would have been a bummer 
Um, but yeah, for multiple times, he's stepped up and uh, helped us out here. So my number one, Dylan Barber. I, no, no shocker there. Uh, it was tough to rank the rest, but number one was pretty easy. Shout out to Dylan. Yeah, I saw that coming. I saw that coming. All right, you want to knock out some honorable mentions? His honorable mentions, and we get out of here. Uh, yes, so I believe already had Susie as an honorable mention. Mm-hmm. Um, my dishonorable mention, I think you know this very well, but my dishonorable mention is Kit, um, from Matt James' season. Wait, I thought you liked her. No, she's she's my I I, I did like her, but she's my dishonorable mention because she never responded to my DM. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't really DM girls. I don't really DM girls on Instagram, but the one of the only ones I've DM'd was Kit. And because she was like the only one that was close to our age, my age at the time, well, I think she was my age at the time. Yeah. The end there. She's not your age anymore. She's, she's aged faster than you. That's that you'd no, the same shut the age. Fuck up, shut the fuck up. Um, but yeah, Kit. Um, okay. It was a very funny DM too. I don't, well, Can I we read it? it? No, you gotta find it. You definitely no, have it. No, 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 we gotta find it now. You no, have to now because I definitely remember exactly what it was. What was it? You gotta show it to us. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Yes. Uh, maybe. Maybe yes. if I if I if I win this week, maybe we'll 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 put screenshots out. Just uh, can you? How about this? We won't react live. Just send it to us I after the can... show, and we'll just can... we'll put it in the edit. That's it. So you don't you have to get clowned on air from us right now. I don't know if I deleted it. You didn't delete it. You just go to messages or go to her profile, click message. It's definitely still there. And I'm really excited to see this. Oh my god, I totally forgot I DM'd her. No, you didn't. You just brought no. it up. No, I'm I'm finding other people. Dude, what? Wait, no, just go to her profile. Maybe. Actually, I'm not. Maybe. Probably. Hopefully. Dude, that's bad. Yeah. Um, you sh- I'm gonna you, no, you're right. That. You, sh- you should have told us that one. You're right. You shouldn't have said that one out loud. Yeah. Um, Fair enough. Um, okay. Is that any other honorable, dishonorable mentions? Oh, my God. I still follow her. Okay, one second. I need to be. I need to freaking unfollow this chick right now. No, no, no. Just, just DM her again and just do like the up arrow. Just one, just one up arrow. Michael, you know you can unsend it, right? But so late now. Why <laughs> I unsend it? What if she oh, replies? I gotta if, stick to my guns. She replies now. After I'm sending the this. up arrow. Yeah, send okay. the up arrow. Double down. Um. All right, my uh, honorable what? mentions. Oh, do you have more? Uh, no. Okay. No. My honorable mentions, uh, two people who have been on the podcast just missed the cut. Chris Bukowski, uh, Chicago guy, and uh, Chasen, who, is, uh, who was on Katie's season, yeah. I believe. Yeah, yeah. so Chasen and Chris, honorable mentions. Cool. You come, come on the show. We appreciate you. And Andrew Spencer is another uh, honorable That's mention. Cool. I like him. Like him a lot. He has... In- wasn't hasn't been on the podcast, but he's been like weirdly attached to the podcast before, uh, because Mitchell Page, the oh, yeah. football player, yep. uh, went to our high school. Yep. He when Andrew went on the Bachelorette, it opened up a roster spot. Mitchell Page took that roster spot on the chart was Chargers. No, no, no. This was a uh, overseas like Australian team. Mm. Um. But Andrew Spencer left that team to go on the Bachelorette, so it opened up a roster spot. So Mitchell Page took that roster spot. So they know each other through that. And then, That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's kind of a small world situation there. So shout out to Andrew Spencer. My dishonorable mention, I just put Blake's plural. Blake's have never done well. I've thought of two specific, uh, specifically, Blake Moines and uh, Blake, uh, what's it, like Horseman or something. Um, oh, yeah. I had an honorable mention. Both. Both just like haven't fared well, haven't uh, done well in my book. So I'm putting them on my dishonorable mentions. Just I just want Blake's. What do you want to add, Mike? Um, my dishonorable mention is going to be I'll go with the name thing, Serena. All Serenas. There's been some decent Serenas, but I feel like there's been no. I don't know. I think I've watched three, four seasons, and there's been, I don't know, probably like three or four Serenas at least. Like there's always. There's Serena P, 
I know Serena P and Serena C. That's it. Serena C. Yeah. Okay. Well, honestly, honestly, no. Anybody that like has to have the last like letter in like the the first initial to their last name in their in their name. I hate it. Just like do the first name, and if you have a duplicate name, just like go by something else. So just like multiple names having the same name. Yes. Okay. When they when they cast two people with one name, that's annoying. It's confusing and it's annoying. So pe- yeah, just people with same names. Dishonorable yes. mention. Okay. All right. I can respect that. Well, everyone, if you listen this far, you know the drill by now. Go vote. Top ten Tuesday on a Thursday. Again, this is one of our more specific niche uh categories topics so if you uh watch this far you you probably watch the show and so you know who we're talking about if you didn't and didn't know anyone we were talking about good on you that's impressive uh but go vote anyways top 10 tuesday on a thursday poll will be up on friday so tomorrow um so go vote and uh subscribe to all that stuff like the video that helps us a lot tune into uh people person podcast on monday bum on weekdays and we'll see you next week another top 10 tuesday thank y'all peace